So hey guys, today we're going to do the question diagonal difference, so let's get right into it. Given a square matrix, calculate the absolute difference between the sum of its diagonals. So as you can see in the example, we are given a square matrix, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 8, 9. And the left diagonal would be 1, 5, and 9. That sums up to be 15. And the right to left diagonal would be 3, 5, and 9. That sums up to be 17. And as you can see, 15 minus 17 and their absolute difference is 2. And that's our answer. So you can think of a square matrix just as a 2D list where there are equal number of rows and columns. So now first we'll uh, get to understanding how 2D lists work. And if somebody just wants to skip to the question, I'll put the timestamp in the uh, comments in the description below. You can just skip to that. So as you can see here, I have a 2D list set up. Um, the first row being 1, 2, 3, second row being 4, 5, 6, uh, and the last row being 7, 8, 9. So you can think of a 2D list just as a list of lists. Cool. That's just how simple it is. And now, what you need to see is, this whole list is considered as the first element of list underscore 2D and would, would be indexed by just 0. So let's try doing that. Let's try printing uh, the elements at all the first indexes. List underscore 2D. 0 and let me just copy that and 2 and 1 so as you can see the 0th element is the whole list 1 to 3 and the first element is the whole list 5 4, 4 5 6 and the last element is the whole list 7 8 9 so as you would imagine to index the first element of the first element you would have to add another square bracket so if I had to print 1, what I would have to do is, I would need to add another index. And as you can see, uh, rows are indexed by this number and columns by the number on top. So I would just have to do print 0, 0 and that should give me just the single number 1. Just as simple as, as that, let's just try another example. So if I had to print 8, you can see. If I, uh, let's take the example of 9, you can see it's in this uh, last list, which would be indexed by 2, as it's the last element of list underscore 2D, and it would be, uh, and its column index would also be 2, as you can see, because it's the 9 is the last element of the sec th third row. So let's try doing that. Now what you need to see is, what exactly is a diagonal? So a diagonal, the left to right diagonal is just 1, 5 and 9. So you can see we are going one column below and one element, uh, one uh, row below and one column forward. And that would be a diagonal, 1, 5 and 9. So let's just try printing a diagonal. We'll take two variables, 0, 0, i, j is equal to 0, 0, while i is less than length of list underscore 2d I don't know why I keep typing s instead of 2d so we just need to print list underscore 2d i j so as you can see it would access the ith uh, list which would be so if we have 0 comma 0 it would access this list and then the 0th element in this list, which would be 1. And then we just need to increment it. Run. So there we get the list. 159. That's the list. After that, now let's see how we'll go about doing that for the right diagonal so the right diagonal is 3 5 and 7 so as you can see it starts from the last column and goes one row below and uh, goes one column be be before so the column keeps getting decreased and the row number keeps getting increased so that's how we'll do it we'll set i to be the first row 
and j to be the last column. And the last column would be indexed by len underscore list 2d because as you know, as we've already seen, the number of columns is equal to number of rows in a row, uh, matrix, in a square matrix. So while i is less than len of list underscore 2d, all you got to do is print this element. list underscore 2d i comma j now what you need to do is you need to go one row below so that would be i plus one and one column before so that would be j minus one now let's see how that works out for us three five seven and as you can see that's the right diagonal so now let's get back to the question and get to the code. So, first we'll define two uh, variables left diagonal sum and right diagonal sum as 0 and 0 and 0. And now we'll first find the sum of the left diagonal. So, as we saw before, i is equal to 0, j is equal to 0, while i is less than len list underscore 2d. You know what would be a good idea to just store this as another variable before the length of the list. So we'll just cut it from here add underscore len is less than r underscore len we'll just add this element to the left diagonal sum and then increment both i and j yeah so that's it we've got the left diagonal sum and now for the right diagonal sum as we saw we have to start from the uh, zeroth row and the last column and the last column would be r underscore len minus 1. So while i is less than r underscore len, write diagonal sum plus r i j and we'll just increment i by 1 and we'll decrement j by 1 because as we saw before as we saw before here uh, we need to sum up this 3 5 and 7 so we need to go one column before the column we are at and this way we should uh, get our right diagonal sum also now we need to return this left now one thing we need to make sure is we wrap this whole value with apps. So if we get the value of minus 1, we need, um, we need to return it as 1. So we will just wrap it with the abs function and let's try running this now. It's processing. Okay, there's the uh, runtime error and I'm sorry about that. It's just R. Yeah, that's it. That was the small error. Then this should work out fine now. And it did. So let's just try submitting this code. And as you can see, it all passed. And I hope you learned how 2D lists work from here. At least you got the intro to it. So now let's see you in the next question with another valuable concept.